know your value. That is what we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Dr. Jane and I am joined by the beautiful coach Kendra. Hey, Kendra. Hello. Hello, Dr. Jane. So happy to have all of you here today. Absolutely. We, Kendra and I have been talking about how so many people are carrying on in their lives with things that don't fulfill them and they have a lower and lower and lower sense of self-worth and self-esteem. And we really want to make sure that you understand the importance of knowing your value. So that is our topic today. Hey, yeah. And Dr. Jane, did you know that 85% of the American public are working in a job that they hate? Isn't that horrible? I can it's, believe it. I can yeah. believe it in all the executive coaching that I do. People come to me and say, this is great about my life and this is great about my life, but then there's my job. And the thing about it is, and you know this as somebody who's, who's guided people through overcoming trauma and, and abuse and all sorts of things. And um, also, you know, I know this is guiding people to the, to the fulfilling career that they want. You can't separate, you can't silo your life. You can't say, well, this is just work, but everything else is great because all of the, you know, this energy, this negative energy over here with the work that's not fulfilling impacts everything else. Yeah. I actually had that happen in my own life. And as an example, I was in a job um, for 15 years. I was good at it. I didn't hate the job itself, but going to that job literally was killing my soul. That's how I describe it. And what was happening is when you're, when you're not happy in, we're using a job as an example, but it could be lots of other things. When you're, when you're not fulfilling a, your purpose or you know you have more to give, um, it, it bleeds into other areas of your life. So um, that, that's what happened to me. And, and what happens then is, or what the next step is, is to know your value, is to get to know yourself, is to, um, because once you find that, that, that's your power place. Once you know your value, then you can move forward and make decisions uh, based on, on, on that, um, yeah. knowing your value. Absolutely. And I talk about values a lot. So let's make this really important differentiation. The value that coach Kendra is talking about today is your self-worth. It's, it's your unique place in the world, the gifts that you have, even if you have similar gifts to me or to coach Kendra, you have your own unique special spin and take on them that we can't bring. And so it's understanding that and tapping into that. Usually when I'm talking about values, I'm talking about things that you hold in very high esteem that are important to you that help you feel fulfilled, like family, relationships, community, wealth, things of that nature. But right now we're talking about your own personal worth. It's very, very important that you understand it. And, and Kendra, honestly, I think so many people are out of touch with this. And one of the big problems that I'm seeing is that people are apologizing all over the place for everything. I have people, I talk with people around the world every day and they apologize that their English isn't perfect. Well, yeah. I'm not speaking their language. You know, they're, they're apologetic about everything. I'm sorry, this may not be clear. I'm sorry, this might be a dumb question. I'm sorry. And so they're, they're constantly showing everyone that, that they're in a, a state of second guessing their own value. Yeah. And there's a couple of things that actually are handicaps to knowing your value. And I'll go over those. One of them is addiction or being addicted to certain things is a handicap uh, to know it. So if you're stuck whether it's um, drugs or alcohol or even gambling or anything, shopping, uh, video games, yeah, um, video games. I mean, like anything, yeah. anything that can be yeah. an idol in your life, anything yeah. that you use to run away from. I coached someone once who was writing a book, but she wasn't. She, oh, during all of her book writing <laughs> times, she was finding some excuse in her life. She was also a wife, also a mom. Um, yeah. And she's a really fantastic writer, but she would sit down to write and then all of a sudden be like, you know what? We need milk. I, I'll be able to write if I can just make sure that we have that. And then she'd go to the grocery store. And by the time she got to the market, she would forget what it was that she came for, realize I was just at the market yesterday. We have everything we need and go home. So like yeah. that addiction is anything that's taking your mind off of your purpose and that yeah. and delivering the value. 
Yeah, exactly. 100% right. The other thing that will is a handicap is negative negative emotions, or we just you kind of hit on that a little earlier. Is um, when you're when you have when you're totally in a negativity mode, or your uh, energy is a negative mode. That is a hindrance to uh, knowing your value because you you you're in you know you can't find positivity in anything, including yourself. So. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's and, another hindrance. and we have that tool. So everybody needs to check this video description for links. We have, oh, Kendra, we have so many links down there. Um, freebies. That's just amazing. Tools, <laughs> things that we are just constantly giving away all sorts of, all sorts of value for you, but you're going to want to go down. And if, if you're connecting with this point that coach Kendra is making, um, you know, the, the negative emotions, then you're going to want to download our infographic. It's called the emotional progression scale. So what it is, it just looks like a rainbow stair step. And I like things that are very colorful. They make me mm. happy. <laughs> and it helps you to identify the emotion that you're having at that moment. And understanding that it's, it's almost impossible to go from despair to elation. That seems a little far-fetched. But you can go from despair to indifference. I'd say indifference is a huge improvement on, on despair. And so it yeah. takes you through, it's just a very simple exercise. And, you know, for, for all of the clients that coach Kinder and I work with through guild, um, we, we tell them, here's this link, print this out, put it by your desk, put it on your refrigerator, put it, you know, have it mm -hmm. in different places. I have one client who has actually saved it as the background on her phone yeah, so that it's she great has it there and it can help you. It's not going to be, um, you know, just magical, all of a sudden you go from despair to elation, but it helps you understand that progression and how you can crawl out of that, no matter how bad things yeah. are. Step by step. I mean, that's the cool part about that ladder is it's step by step. And I do love the colors. It's very colorful and cheery and bright. And so it's, it's, it's lovely just looking at it and then you can work your way up. Um, another one is, um, I call it heaviness of the body. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, I truly believe, because I've lived this in my own life, that moving your body, whether it's stretching, whether it's yoga, whether it's whatever workout, running, or whatever it is that you do, is, is, is a foundation of your life. Uh, you need to take care of your body. You are giving this body for a reason. And that also helps your emotions and, and all of that. So moving your body, having, you know, if you're not working out or if you're, your um, heaviness of the body is a hindrance, um, you're going to, you, how you feel about your body and how you feel in your body is going to make a huge difference in your own you value of yourself. You'll feel so much better if you're moving around. Um, and you know, you do yoga as well. Absolutely. Um, and, and I did, I, I just ended a, you know, pretty busy week. I had several things going on, lots of clients come on and, and I exercised, yeah. I moved a lot less. Um, I always, I have a, a smart workout watch on that tells me my steps and I got a warning about halfway through the week. Cause something, are, <laughs> are you feeling okay? You know, your steps yeah. are already down. But I moved a lot less and my productivity went down. And so it's really, I mean, even I have to have those reminders. Hey, practice what you preach. You know, yeah. keep moving. Because yeah. yeah. nobody's perfect, especially the people who are teaching you the, the expert way to get out of these things. How do you think we've developed these methodologies? We needed them. Exactly. <laughs> And we have tools at Guild Coaching that help you create a, um, a program for yourself or a day, um, what would you call it? Yeah, yeah morning routine. routine. We have yeah. Yeah, a 16 or 17 page yeah. uh, e-workbook download and it will guide you through all of the steps and, and, and movement is such an important part of your day. And so it'll guide you through the steps to putting the movement in that's right for you. It may not be get up, do yoga. It, it may be, you know, get up, do one, two, three, four, go for a walk, go for a run, yeah. um, you know, whatever. And so it, it doesn't push my morning routine on you or coach Kendra's morning routine. It, it actually takes you through the steps that anybody can use to figure out your specific morning routine that works for you. Absolutely. Um, the next one is one of my favorites. It's um, a hindrance to knowing your value is restlessness an unsettled mind. Um, um, monkey mind, they, as I hear people call it a lot. So 
I don't know if it's a great visual, and, just like swinging on all the I, vines. That's that's exactly what I think about when I hear that, um, and that's what your mind does. It swings from place to place, the future, the the um, behind you and for front of you, and so. But what I've learned um, over the past couple of years is meditation. So if you're not meditating, if you have never tried it, if you're at, you know, I used to think people that meditated were a little strange, a little woo woo. But now that I do it myself, it's such a magical tool that anybody can do and you can do it any time of the day, but it helps settle your mind. It helps you be, stay present. It helps that monkey mind of going back and forth. Um, and and, and then, they, then you're able to think about what you really, how you know how you feel about yourself and what you really want in your life and, and yeah. being able to make a plan, so. Absolutely, and I wanna to touch on something that you said, you know, you used to think that people who meditated were a little strange and a little woo-woo. Whenever, and, and I did too, and what was happening with both of us when we had those feelings is we were judging and we were stuck in our own ego. And what I mean there is we were stuck in our own perceptions of what it was because we were buying into some sort of one person or two people or Hollywood's version of depicting what meditation is mm -hmm. without actually knowing it. So it would be like um, if growing up you never tasted something that's delicious. I don't know. Who doesn't like ice cream? Kendra, I know you love right. ice cream. So I do love I. ice cream. <laughs> so my favorites. <laughs> if somebody, me too, I just love it. Such a treat. Um, but if somebody around you, your whole life, and you never tasted it, said ice cream, ugh. ice cream, ugh. ice cream, gross, ice cream, yuck. I, and just over and over and over again, then when somebody offers you ice cream, you're going to say, oh, no, because you're going to have that predisposition of ice cream's gross, right? Yeah. And, and we do that. And those are some of the subconscious blocks that we always have to work with people to get over. Not necessarily that ice cream is gross, but different <laughs> things in your life. Oh, meditation's weird or, yeah. oh, this yoga is, weird is or hard or yoga is, is it for me? I mean, or whatever. You know, I'll tell is. you, if it wasn't for yoga, and it's not just me, but so many people in my, we wouldn't be mobile. Right. Because um, no, yeah, I'm the same way. That's me too. Your body. So yeah. well, that's, this yeah. is fantastic. Kendra, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, you know, it's just, for joining it's, us it's so important and I uh, appreciate everybody that's joined us today. Um, so yeah. great to have you here. Absolutely. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Kendra and I are posting videos <laughs> just like this every week to help you find your personal reset button. So make sure that you are subscribing. And if you've got that little bell icon, hit that. What that means is when you log on to YouTube, you'll get a little notification that says, hey, your next video is ready for you. So you won't miss a beat. Also go down to the comment section, tell us any questions you have. We will be answering them in our Facebook group, The Gilded Life. And your questions may even inspire a future episode of mm. your personal reset button. So make sure Wouldn't that be exciting. I know, I know, absolutely. And who knows, maybe we'll say, this is a really great question to explore. Why don't you come on and discuss it with us? Absolutely. The more Send the your questions in. So we'll see you on the next, next Friday. Absolutely. Bye. Bye-bye.